For hundreds of years, traders from Indonesia visited the northern coast of Australia to process tree pang or sea cucumber. Now an art exhibition in Melbourne has brought to light the legacy of this once thriving trade between China, Indonesia and the top end. Letitia Smith has more. Showcasing an age-old tradition that disappeared early last century. The once thriving trade relationship that existed between the Aboriginal nations of Northern Australia and China. For hundreds of years, commerce flourished between top-end communities and traders from Indonesia. These Macassan middlemen sailed up and down ancient sea routes to exchange produce between Australia and markets in China. The North Australian coastline was one of the prime places in the world during the great Chinese dynasties for collecting tree paint. Once the focus of this exchange, it's now the centre of an exhibition in Melbourne. For Chinese artist Zhou Shouping, it's this relatively unknown history which has inspired his paintings. People like me, to look at the history, we have perhaps have uh, some uh, different thoughts, have a uh, different view. The exhibition is the result of a 12-year-old project which combined two different artists to tell one story. What's this one? Shoping and Aboriginal artist, the late John Bullen Bullen, came together to share their cultural stories. Contemporary cross-cultural collaboration, uncovering a partnership that has slipped into legend. All of the cultural influence of the Macassans is now expressed in uh, ritual song cycles, sacred design, repertoire, um, and all sorts of objects, and especially paintings. So now we have um, this great tradition expressed in very subtle ways throughout Arnhem Land. Used in China as a delicacy dish and also for medicine, the Macassans traded new technology, fishing rights and Asian food for the tree peng, which is still eaten today. For most the majority of China, Chinese people, they really like them. While 19th century political upheaval in China undermined the trade, it was Australian policymakers who saw to its ultimate demise. The tax agent Alfred Searcy uh, was uh, commanded to close the Macassan Tripang trade with Aboriginal people down and he did so by taxing the Macassans. The last Macassan trading boat left Arnhem Land in 1906. But more than a century later, the oral histories that tell of this commercial and cultural exchange have found a new voice. This story was crying out to be told from the perspective of the Aboriginal people who inherited the legends and of course, you know, to the extent that we could from the point of view of the Macassans and the Chinese people. While the artwork is only on show in the Melbourne Museum until next month, the cultural legacy of the tree peng trade lives on in the top end. Coming up on Living Black from Alice Springs, we reveal a rising star on the netball court. And PJ Gordon sings about life back in his hometown of Brewarrina. You call home.